here with Oban Elliot. Such a huge fight with massive implications. You must be so happy with the outcome. Yeah, I'm absolutely landed. That was a very tough fight against a very tough guy. Um, I had to use my brain. I had to mix it up on him. I had to keep him guessing, like, you know, like a hair twisting through a field at times. And um, look, he is the only guy, right, who's called me out, James Sheehan, right? You're what, you, you've had a setback now. You're a prospect. Be the only guy who called me out, who hasn't dodged me, turned me down, or pulled out of a fight against me. So, mate, trust me, you'll be in the UFC. You'll keep going on and on and on. This is just a little blip. We had to fight each other. If it wasn't you, it would have been me. So, you know, we'll have a beer after, like we said. So, respect to you, James Sheehan. What a guy. I was going to say, like, how nice was it? Like, you rarely get called out. So, to be called out and to prepare a whole, like, to have a whole fight camp preparing for the one for one guy that you actually yeah, fight. Yeah, exactly. And it made me respect him so much. And it just made me push, train harder than I ever have done. You know, it was a, it's a crossroads fight. We've both been there. Close. Uh, you know, he's the only guy he's ever fought, lost to. Let's get this straight. He's a former world champion and a UFC fighter. And he just, he, as I said in before, he was the right guy. He is the right guy in the right place at the wrong time. And it just is what it is, man. Um, I hope he dusts himself off. I hope you look after him. You give him one big fight back and then he's back knocking on the door of a title shot which I'm sure you guys will because what a fighter he brought the best out of me I had to fucking pull all the tricks out of the bag to beat him there you know what I mean you said you you worked so hard for him to prepare for mm. him and you actually like in some of the pre-fight interviews you seemed a little bit unsure of yourself I don't know if that was just like kind of you like trying to play down the fight a little bit or I didn't know I was going to beat him mm -hmm. at all because he, he look, he's, when a guy calls you out right you gotta think Okay, and I've been in this game now, professional, for over four years. I have been turned down and ducked and dodged by near enough everyone. And the boys in the locker room, some boys on that, on that wall and girls, know how much of a, of a, of a respected fighter I am. And uh, I'm, I've, been, I've had my setbacks, I've, I've had my stumbles, I've had my personal problems. But, you know, I'm up there with them lot. And everybody in, in the gyms know it, all the, all the fighters around know it, so... I just beat a guy there that's been undefeated for four years. Come on. That, he, he was a tough, tough guy. And I beat him in his back yard. You know what I mean? Where is the title? I, have, I don't need one of them to go to bed at night. Put the camera on there. I don't need one of them to go to bed at night feeling like I'm the man, right? Because what I've gone through in life and what I've had to come back from and the, uh, just getting close and, and, and stumbling, I am the man to beat. And everyone knows it. So this main event here tonight, that belt's going to more than likely be up for grabs. And you know that my f I am the red corner of that vacant title fight when that belt gets given up, when Re either Reese goes to the UFC or Jimmy retires. 100%. Well, let's talk about that. Okay, if that happens, if the ba belt is vacated, there's a, you know, a few other top dogs, obviously the top div di division. Matt Figlak, Justin Berlinson, or Carlo Pedersoli. Who do you feel should be, should be next for you? Any of them. Any of them. There's not one in particular that you would like to, to fight? To be the man, you've got to beat the man. And whether it's whatever city in the world, outside the UFC, I am the man. And you all know it. Well, congrats. You made a huge statement tonight. Very proud of you. Bang. Thank you, Edith. It's been a long journey. Thank you. <laughs>